In this video series, we are going to start a very basic course for any newcomer who wants to learn the website development. So here in this video series, we are going to start HTML using which you can definitely learn how to create a simple web page. And after that, when you will be done by creating number of web pages, you can simply link them up logically in order to create a bigger aspect that is called the website. Whatever website you can make using HTML will remain static unless and until you will include any server side methodology in order to make them dynamic. So but we will not discuss about some advanced things here. We are going to discuss very basic things as we, this course is specially designed for the very beginners. So here what is all required before you getting started with HTML is the basic fundamental knowledge of computer like how to start obviously you are watching this video you know how to start all right you should be familiar by how to create the files how to create the directories you should have a basic text editor like i'm a microsoft user windows user so i will just use those as a text editor where i will write the html and once i am done with writing the html i would like to see the output and you can see the output in any web browser like we do have a lot of browser like chrome firefox internet explorer safari as per your requirement as per your uh, choice you can just get a free browser online and you can start working on html so this is the only requirement now before getting started more about the html let's get some basic idea what this html is all about so basically html stands for hypertext markup language so let's understand what this word hypertext markup language stands language is a very simple thing like whenever i would like to make a communication i will use a language like right now we are communicating each other with each other so I'm using English as a language but here by the time I will start creating a web page I will use a separate language called HTML which will be understood by a web browser how a browser understand that because every browser has a parser which reads the HTML and it accordingly it will show the output when I say markup language markup language will represent any tag based language tag based language is something where the angular brackets like the less than and greater than symbol will comprise a tag i'll show you how the tag based language looks like we do have a lot of tags based language nowadays but here we'll show you how, the basic uh, structure of any tag based language and especially here we'll talk about the html and hypertext what this hypertext is all about Basically, whatever text you require in order to create a web page is a hypertext. If that particular text contains a link, means that link for some other location, maybe some other page or some other, other location on the same page, that text will be called hyperlink. All right. So what I said, the, whatever text is required to create a web page is hypertext. And if that hypertext contains a link to other location, it's a hyperlink. All right. So hypertext markup language. This is all about the name. Now, as I said, this is a tag based language. All right. You can see it's a tag based language used to create the web pages. So whenever you would like to create a website, it will start by creating a single web page to multiple web pages. And then after linking them logically, it will be a website because website is nothing but logically linking of the web pages it is created by berners lee in the end of 1991 and this language till from that time onward is being used in order to create a basic structure of the web pages like whenever you create a web page what you put there maybe a line some table some images uh, headings list whatever so whatever you want to put on a web page, including a media or something, you can use HTML in order to do that all. So what I said is developed with the intent to of definition, the structure of the documents like heading, paragraph, list, etc. 
Now, let's discuss how this HTML actually works. So basically, HTML is sent from server to client's browser. What is that? Whenever like you are working on tutorialspoint.com or Facebook, Gmail, sometimes you, when you check the uh, your mails. So what you do is you go to the address bar of any web browser, you type a URL, you press enter and after some time you will get the page. All right. So basically what it does, it actually is sending the HTTP request. Yes. Basically, whenever you are making a communication over the network, over the network means it's internet, all right? So, whenever a communication takes place over the network, some kind of protocol is required and that protocol will be nothing but the rules and regulations in order to create the uh, communication successful. So, depends what kind of uh, material we are going to transfer over the network, we will use that particular uh, protocol. So here, what the, which protocol am I working with? I'm working over HTTP protocol. That is hypertext transfer protocol. Transfer, you all know what is transfer and protocol is rules and regulation. Again, the term hypertext is here and what I said just now, hypertext is the text which is used to create a web page. All right. So whenever a client is making a request http colon slash slash www.facebook.com whatever site you are seeking for you are making an http request and what it is doing actually is if your request is uh, valid listen there is a lot of there are a lot of things that goes on the background but as i said this course is for beginners i am not going to cover all the advanced methodologies here but i am taking in a very basic example so as here you can see it's a server here are the client and they are connected with the internet so whenever a client browser obviously when i say client client will make a request through the browser because it is in http protocol so the client is making a request to the server and every time when an http request is made if that particular request is valid means if the client is authenticated, authorized to access that particular page, only then the HTML of that particular page will be sent from server to client over the network using HTTP protocol. As soon as the HTTP, uh, the HTML is on the client's browser, I told you like browser have the capability of reading the hypertext markup language and can show the output as it is designed. So this is how the communication takes place over the network. Using HTTP protocol, the server will send the HTML of the particular page. As I said, in a website, there could be a number of web pages. So whichever page is required, the server will send that particular uh, web page over the network to the client browser and browser will read the information and will show it to the user. So let's see how the HTML looks like. So here you can see it's HTML. These are the tags like the angular brackets I was talking about. These are the tags. So whenever an HTML document is need to be created, we'll start it with the HTML tag. We'll finish it up with the closing tag of HTML. As you can see, what is the closing tag? We are putting the slash just before the name of the tag. This is the opening tag and this is the closing tag. All right. So major means basically uh, most of the tags which we will learn will have the pair like opening and closing. We do have some non-pair tags which I will discuss during the course curriculum itself. So any HTML document can be classified into two basic parts that is the head and the body like a human body. First we have the head and then we have the body. So head is for the identification why this page is being created. So that will be containing the title tag all right that will be stored inside the title tag so this is document title now you can also put some of the resource like things like any javascript code or style sheets which you want to use later in the document but we will not cover those things here so let's keep it till title for now and now comes the body body is something which is the main area of the web page means whatever you see in the browser is the body part so here 
I'm just putting a heading which is H1. Alright, H1 is the biggest heading. We will see some more headings in our coming video. So H1, this is heading. So when we will save this particular document with an extension HTML, we can open that over the browser and then we can see the output of this particular web page. But this is all we will do in our next video. In this video, we were just trying to cover the basics which we have done for now. In our next video, we'll see how to start with the basic implementation of HTML.